Hey, what's up, y'all? Today, we're going to learn why buying a whole chicken is so much better than buying individual parts from the store. Check this video out. We're going to save some grain. I'm talking about the environment and also the stuff that's inside your wallet. I bought this chicken at the store for about $13. And for $13, I'm able to get two breasts, two thighs, two wings, two legs, and two tenders. And a bonus, the carcass. Now, I know some people are like, what do you need the carcass for? I'm going to show you later on. Now, as far as it comes to cutting up the chicken, it's much easier than it looks. You really wanna start with the breast, making two slits along the side of the breastbone, and just making sure that you're cutting everything slowly but surely. I start on one side of the breast, and then I move to the other side of the breast. Some people like to do this one breast at a time, but I like to do mine symmetrically. That way I can just work on both sides, make sure that the chicken is balanced the entire time. Um, it might just be something weird that I do, but it works for me. And as you're working on the breast, don't forget that there are tenderloins between the bone and the breast, so cut those out and save them for later. You can definitely use those for chicken tenders. Um, that's really the only thing I know you can use them for, but definitely save them. And if you haven't figured it out by now, you're definitely going to need to sharpen your knives before getting into this. If you come into this with a dull knife, you're going to hurt yourself or it's going to take an extremely long time. And boom, just like that, our first breast is cut. So once I get the breast cut, then I take off the wing. Um, it's much easier just to work on one wing at a time. Um, then I flip it over, go to the other side, take the breast off and detach the wing from that side. And then I start to work on the thighs and the legs. The thighs and the legs are difficult just because they require you breaking the joints and finding the joints and cutting in between the joints. Cutting through bone is the last thing that you want to do. It can damage your knives and it can also make your job that much more difficult. So find those joints, break them apart, and just cut straight through them. Now, sometimes I do separate the leg and the thigh, but because this is a small chicken, I really wanted it to keep it together so that way I can produce a big piece of chicken for whoever eats it. And just like that, we have one carcass, two legs, two thighs, two breasts, two tenders, and two wings. So what do you do with the carcass? Easy, you make broth. Now, this is so much more cost efficient than going to the store and buying packages of chicken broth. You can make your own at home, y'all. The best part of it is it saves the environment, it saves you money, and most importantly, it tastes a lot better. All you need to do is sear the carcass a little bit, add some seasonings, add about six cups of water, and if you have like carrots, celery, and onion around, put that in there and let it simmer for about four hours. Now for me and my chicken, I'm actually gonna grill it I have a really basic grill, nothing special, nothing spectacular, but it gets the job done. And for the most part, that's it. So let's just recap. We saved money by buying one whole chicken, and I was able to get multiple pieces of a chicken plus broth. And for those who are wondering what did I do with the broth that I made, I used it to make dirty rice. And the chicken that I bought still had the gizzards, the livers, and everything like that, so I was able to use that inside the dirty rice as well. This saved me money, and it's also helping the environment by reducing the amount of packaging that I'm getting from the store. And boom, there you have it. If you like what you've seen here, like, follow, share, and subscribe. Share it on social media, and go follow my Instagram and TikTok page. If you haven't checked out my series, Black Food American History, you're definitely missing out. Peace, y'all.